Hello everyone, in this video here I'll be doing a tutorial on how to lower your car in Photoshop. Now the version of Photoshop I'm using here is CS5. Uh, now this also does apply to other versions. Uh, I'm also doing this on a Mac, so uh, basically the same principle does apply to uh, the Windows uh, version of Photoshop too. Uh, now first what we want to start by doing is actually having uh, the picture of your vehicle uh, which you want to lower. Now what we want to start by doing first here is uh, we'll have the base layer here as you can see. Uh, this other layer that I have up here, uh, this is just something I'll be skipping to just to make it a little uh, faster with this tutorial video, so I will be showing that in a moment. Now taking your base layer here, what you want to start by doing is dragging it down here and uh, to your new layer tool and just simply make a copy of that layer itself. I will just rename it here so it's not, uh, so it's less confusing later on in the video here. So now we have our upper layer. Now what we want to start by doing is turning your base layer off so it's less confusing when you are cutting out the background here. Now what we want to do is go up here to select your lasso tool and uh, select your polygonal uh, lasso. I find this one to be the easiest. Now uh, with the background here what we will be doing is we want to look for somewhat of a transition between, uh, between surfaces or materials or something like that. Uh, now what I have here is actually the water between the sand here, which I'll be selecting. Now this does make it easier. Uh, you can do this with other backgrounds also, but there will be some blending involved. So first what we'll start by doing here is just uh, zooming in. Okay, now what we'll do here is start by simply going around, tracing the background itself, and also tracing the vehicle out here. So depending, uh, this may take you a little longer depending on how much uh, detail there is in your vehicle itself or how much detail there is in the ground. We'll, simply do, we'll just cut small sections off here also just to make it a little easier. So you can actually zoom in for details here. Now once you have that selected, you want to make sure you do have the upper layer selected here. Simply go delete and you'll end up with a background like this. Now we'll do the same technique all the way around, continuing on the ground itself and around the vehicle itself here. Uh, we'll also cut out the uh, fenders on the vehicle itself and continuing on to the, uh, to the bumpers and uh, along the ground also. Now once you've cut all the uh, background out here, we'll just take your marquee tool here, uh, which is located right under the selection tool right at the top here. And you want to make sure that ground is selected there. Just simply delete and continue on. Now just to make it easier, I've already had this done on another layer here, as you can see. Now, next what you want to do is make sure you have your base layer on also. You want to make sure that upper layer is above the base layer itself because uh, the top portion of the vehicle here and the uh, sky above, along with the water, uh, will be dragging this all down to make, make it look like the vehicle is lowered itself. So then you want to continue up to your selection tool here, clicking on the screen, just dragging the vehicle down itself, so you can see. Uh, now you can lower the vehicle depending on what your uh, liking is. Now another thing I also want to make note of, depending how the selection is done here, uh, you will have little areas on the back fender here, uh, which you can see it's just kind of uh, showing the background itself. Now in real life there is inner fenders in a vehicle here, so you actually want to black this area out. Zooming in on the area here, uh, we'll just take our uh, paint tool. Making sure our brush size isn't too big here. Now I'm just going over this uh, just a little quickly here. Now I just you want to do just a black background here. Continue on. Inside itself like so. You can always use the marquee tool here just to cut it off so it gives it a nice smooth um, edge on the bottom. Like so. And you should have something like that when it looks like it's done. Now as for the top portion here, now see if I were to turn the base off itself on the top portion of the image here, you do actually have uh, uh, basically uh, just a blank area. Um, 
So if I do zoom in on it a bit here, and if I were to turn the base layer back on, you can see it's a little harder to see on here because the sky uh, blends in fairly well naturally. You can see on this location here, it doesn't exactly blend in too nicely. You do have a hard edge. Now this does depend on what background you are using on your picture. So what I'll do is turn the base off again. Using the marquee tool again, we'll select the upper portion of the um, picture itself. Now what we'll be doing here is you can actually um, stretch this upwards so it does actually blend in well together. Now another thing you can also do is uh, change your canvas size of the image itself, uh, which also uh, changes the original image. So if you are doing a comparison between each other, there might be a little bit of a difference there. So I'm going to go here to Edit, Transform, and Scale. So we'll be left with these little grips here. So you just simply take that grip, drag it upward until that blank space is uh, disappeared. Press Enter, and there you have it. You can see once you're done, you should have something that looks like that in the image. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them. Also, subscribe to my channel for further tutorial videos, and also rate this video. Thank you.